Hi friends, this is Mrs. Lin. Welcome to your second week of remote learning. I hope you're still doing great at home with your family and pets and having lots of fun um, learning online. So I thought today for computers, I would share this ebook with you called Manners with Technology. It's gonna give you some tips about how to stay safe um, and how to behave while you're online, since we're gonna be doing a lot of that um, in the upcoming couple of weeks. So um, let's get started with the book. When we're done reading, there's a quiz that's posted on the homework page that um, your mom or dad can help you um, open and you can complete and submit that to Mrs. Lin. All right, let's get started. Manners with technology. Hey, that's my tablet monster. You need to ask before you use it. You can borrow it, but you'll need to learn some manners first. Manners online are like manners with people. Be kind. If you wouldn't say something in person, don't send a message online either. Now, let's say you're watching a video and want to comment. Monster, that's me. You guys see what the monster posted about that cat video that he, uh, she just watched? That's a mean comment, right? They won't know it's me, said Monster. Mm, but it will still hurt their feelings. Even if you used a nickname to comment, you must be polite. Now, let's say you're on a website that lets you share pictures. Grown-ups call this social media. Here's a funny picture of my friend Kevin. What should I say? Now, let's take a look at what Monster posted. She posted, Ugh, what happened to your face? Well, Monster, I know it's a silly photo, but online... People can't see that you're smiling. So funny things can sound mean instead. Let's not post that comment. Hey, what are you doing? That's an awful picture. Don't post it online. Never share embarrassing photos. And don't post photos of other people without their permission either. That's my friend Lainey calling to video chat. Hi, Lainey. Monster, making faces is not polite. Instead of being silly, ask them a question. And then when you're done talking, say goodbye. Look, Monster, your friend Lucy is here to visit. Don't ignore her. When you're with friends, focus on them and not your device. If you play video games with friends, take turns or play a game where you can both play at the same time. Don't play for too long. Too much screen time can turn you into a zombie. And be sure to quit playing when a grown-up tells you to. Fresh air makes you feel good. And when you feel good, you have better manners, whether in person or online. Bye, Lucy. Thanks for playing. See, that was good manners, Monster. Look, Monster, it's an email from Grandma. Be sure to answer emails from friends and family, but not strangers, of course. Check for spelling and grammar. That way, the email will be easier for grandma to read, and she'll know that you have put some time and effort into it. Wow, good job knowing that there's no technology at the table. You are not a monster. You're my little sister, Willow. Good job learning your technology manners, Willow. And that's, that's it for the story. Um, I want you to... Go ahead and pause the video so you can take some time to read over this Good Manners with Technology list. Um, it's basically talking about some of the stuff that you we've um, read in the story. For example, asking someone uh, before you use their phone or tablet or computer, um, being kind to people. Uh, one of the things that um, is not on this list uh, that I wanted to point out was that little bit about not sharing um, or not replying to an email sent by a stranger. Now remember, we don't know a lot of times who's on the other end of that computer screen, especially when you're playing games um, like Roblox or um, Webkins, where there's people on the other side of that screen. So just be really careful when you're online um, to protect your personal information, all right? We don't want to share anything um, that the stranger can then use to hurt us, all right? So boys and girls, go ahead and um, go to the quiz and submit it when you're done. And I'll see you next, um, I'll actually see you Friday for your check-in. See you later.